Welcome to Water Level. Lake Mead and Lake Powell, the two largest reservoirs in the United States, continue to be closely monitored as their water levels fluctuate daily. These lakes are critical not only for water supply but also for power generation and recreation. Today, let's take a closer look at where the water levels stand right now and how they have changed over the past year. Starting with Lake Mead. As of Tuesday, September 30, 2025, at 9 a.m., Lake Mead's surface elevation is recorded at 1,057.20 feet above mean sea level. This places it about 171.80 feet below its designated full pool elevation of 1,229 feet. In practical terms, this shows that the lake is well below capacity, though it has seen small but important daily fluctuations. The most recent data notes a rise of 0.06 feet since yesterday, indicating that even minor inflows and operational adjustments at Hoover Dam can shift the numbers slightly day by day. Looking at the year-to-year -year trends, the chart shows that Lake Mead has had significant variations in 2025 compared to the previous two years. Early in the year, the water levels rose gradually, peaking in the spring before beginning a steady decline through the summer. By July, the water stabilized at lower levels and only began to show minor recovery as September arrived. Compared to 2024, when the lake held higher elevations for longer into the year, the 2025 levels are overall lower, sitting closer to where they were during 2023. The broader picture shows how delicate the balance is for Lake Mead. Small gains in elevation are quickly offset by downstream demands, evaporation, and seasonal shifts. Nevertheless, the lake has managed to hold above the critical thresholds that trigger emergency shortages, maintaining a narrow but steady band in the mid-1050s through late summer and early fall. Turning to Lake Powell, which directly feeds Lake Mead through the Colorado River system, the current situation is also noteworthy. As of the latest reading on September 29, 2025, Lake Powell's elevation is measured at 3,544.77 feet above sea level. This is approximately 155.23 feet below its full pool level of 3,700 feet, and it places the reservoir at about 27.77% of capacity by content. Powell is currently about 412.77 feet deep at the dam, highlighting just how vast the volume of stored water remains even at these reduced levels. Compared to one year ago, Powell is down by 33.38 feet. Over the past 12 months, the chart shows a clear downward trend. From October 2024 through the spring of 2025, the lake level gradually declined, with small periods of stabilization. By early summer, there was a modest rise, but this was quickly followed by another decline through late August and into September. The seasonal boost in inflows was not enough to offset the outflows and demands, leaving Powell lower as the water year came to a close. The numbers also reveal how inflows and outflows have shaped Powell's condition. For water year 2025, the lake received about 5.12 million acre-feet of inflow, which is only about half of the long-term September average. At the same time, 7.46 million acre-feet were released through Glen Canyon Dam, nearly matching the minimum operational requirements. This difference, where outflows exceed inflows, has resulted in a net storage loss of over 2.3 million acre-feet for the year. When comparing Powell and Mead together, the system shows how interconnected they are. As Powell drops, the amount of water available for downstream transfer into Lake Mead becomes more limited. Conversely, if Powell gains, it provides some relief downstream. But the 2025 numbers show that both lakes are trending at the lower end of their ranges. Powell seats below 3550 feet and Mead remains just above 1050. For residents, boaters, and water managers, these numbers matter in very real ways. At Lake Mead, marinas adjust operations depending on whether ramps and docks are usable. At Lake Powell, access points for recreation continue to shift as water lines move lower. Beyond recreation, the big story remains the sheer volume of water stored or lost over time. At full capacity, Lake Powell can hold over 24 million acre-feet of water. At present, it's storing less than 30% of that total. Looking ahead, the key figures will continue to be daily inflows, dam releases, and the cumulative impact of seasonal water usage. If outflows consistently exceed inflows, as they did this past year, both reservoirs will continue to show gradual declines. However, even small gains, measured in fractions of a foot, are carefully tracked because they can indicate temporary relief or stabilization. 
To put today's figures in perspective, Lake Mead at 1,057 feet and Lake Powell at 3,544 feet represent water systems that are operating far below their designed capacities, but still functioning within the margins needed to supply downstream communities. Both reservoirs are well below their historic highs, but they continue to store vast amounts of water that remain crucial for the Southwest. As the year closes out, attention will remain on how these numbers shift in the early months of 2026. Seasonal inflows from winter snowpack will be critical to watch for Powell, while mead stability will depend heavily on upstream contributions and managed releases. For now, the latest readings show modest daily changes, but the longer-term outlook is shaped by the ongoing balance between use and replenishment. In summary, Lake Mead is holding at just over 1,057 feet, still more than 170 feet below its full pool, while Lake Powell sits at 3,544 feet, about 155 feet below full pool. Both reservoirs are trending lower compared to last year, with Powell down more than 33 feet year over year. While daily rises and dips may seem small, the overall trends paint a clear picture of how carefully the system must be managed to maintain stability across the Colorado River Basin. These numbers tell a clear story. Even small changes in water elevation can signal big shifts in how the system operates. Whether you follow these lakes for recreation, for water supply, or simply for curiosity, the daily reports show how critical every drop of water is truly in this vast system. If you found this update helpful, make sure to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more detailed breakdowns of Lake Mead and Lake Powell's water levels. We'll continue to follow the numbers closely and bring you clear, straightforward updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.